All right, folks. We have to talk about something with Switch 2 today that really wasn't on the plan. I, you know, I had this Metroid video in the works, and maybe I'll still drop that video today, if not sometime this week. But I, you guys know I want to make sure I get the latest news about the Nintendo Switch 2 out to you guys as quickly as possible. So if you really do appreciate the news we're about to drop right now, and, and this is something that I don't think a ton of people are talking about yet, go ahead and drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel where our we you know we got this goal to get 150,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And you know what? Why don't you hit that bell icon so you're notified of all future uploads? So what are we talking about? Well, how about a major third-party game coming to Nintendo Switch 2? Now, this isn't a for sure thing, but the track record checks out. So what are we talking about? Well, it's Atsushi Izuka Lizuka. I look, I don't know how to pronounce his name. He is a Nintendo employee. And he is an employee whose job is to coordinate with external entities to plan and approve third party projects and then obviously accept submissions when they're done. You know, here's like a direct quote We receive ROMs, recording media with built in software programs submitted by licensees and send it to our factory for mass production. We also receive new game proposals submitted by licensee. Since the business department serves as the point of contact for licensees, it also plays the role of coordinating with other departments within our company. So the point is that this guy works for Nintendo and handles a lot of third party relations, right? He works right out of Nintendo of Japan. And it turns out that he has a credit in a certain game this year that is very difficult to run. A game that is, well, not even out on some platforms. Obviously not on a Switch. There's no chance it comes to Switch. And we are talking about Baldur's Gate 3. So in the credits of Baldur's Gate 3, there is a special thanks to Ed Sushi. Izuka. Now, Baldur's Gate 3 is listed on this little website here as 2020 Windows, and that's not what his credit's for. It's not for the Windows version of the game. That's just when the early access for Baldur's Gate began, so that's just what the release window is listed. But if you actually dig through uh, a lot of the legalese in it, it looks like his credits actually date to 2023. Now, why does this matter? As I said, this guy's a Nintendo employee. Well, he handles all these third-party relations, and if you look at all of the games he's credited on, and again, this isn't every game that he's credited with, period. This is just what he's credited with on this website. You'll see games like Disney Illusion Island, right, coming to Nintendo Switch. Shin Megami Tensei Five, we know that's on Switch. Marvel Ultimate Alliance Three, the Black, the Black Order. You'll see other third-party games on there, like Dragon Quest Eight. You'll see other ones, Dragon Quest Seven. What about Dragon Quest Monsters and Dragon Quest VI, Samurai Warriors 3? So every game that he has any credits in, special thanks or otherwise, has come to a Nintendo platform, which, again, isn't a surprise because this is what he does. His job is to help get third-party games onto and approved for Nintendo Switch. It's literally his primary role at Nintendo. So while he's a little unknown employee, he actually has a very important role. Now, this is where we get back to the Baldur's Gate 3 listing, where he also is listed as a special thanks. Why is a Nintendo employee who helps get third-party games on Nintendo platforms given a special thanks credit for Baldur's Gate 3? Again, every other game came to Nintendo Switch or came to a platform for Nintendo, right? Whether it was Wii or Wii U, DS, 3DS, et cetera, et cetera, right? He has a lot of credits across the board. So why? What does this mean? Well, clearly, Baldur's Gate 3 is not coming to Nintendo Switch, right? It didn't come to Xbox because of a parity clause where they couldn't even get split screen to run on Xbox Series S. There's no way in heck that Baldur's Gate 3 is going to be coming to Nintendo Switch. What this can only mean is that Baldur's Gate 3 is potentially, or I guess if you look at the track record, 100% for sure, coming to Nintendo Switch 2. And that, folks, would be as close to a confirmation as we can get without the game being announced for the first major third-party game that isn't Call of Duty, because we obviously know once that deal's done, Call of Duty is going to be coming, coming to 
Nintendo Switch 2 now. It doesn't mean it's going to be there at launch. It doesn't mean it's going to, you know, be out next year. But if he is getting credit for work on Baldur's Gate 3, what kind of work do you think he was doing? Well, his job description is literally about getting third-party games on Nintendo platforms. And since this game literally cannot run on Switch, it's very clearly for Nintendo Switch 2. Now, this is a, a multi-platform third-party game. So this would be the sort of games that Nintendo would want to try to get. Now, why is this so impressive? Well, Baldur's Gate 3 is a very intensive game. Look, it might not look the most visually pleasing to you all the time. It's all going to depend on what you are personally impressed by, but it's a very difficult game to run. It does, there's, let's put it this way, there's a reason that it is next-gen and PC exclusive. It is a very very difficult game to run. PlayStation 4 can't run this game. Xbox One can't run this game. The Steam Deck, well, technically can run this game, runs it very, very poorly. And if they're going to bring this to Nintendo Switch 2, obviously they're not going to want to release a poor running version. Now, there are some things to consider. We probably aren't going to get the split screen multiplayer. If it was cut for the Xbox Series S, I presume it would be cut for Nintendo Switch 2. If they somehow pull it off on Nintendo Switch 2, well, they couldn't do it on the Xbox Series S, they must have created some voodoo magic. And maybe they did. Maybe DLSS helped them run this thing at super low resolutions, but all of a sudden it still looks really crisp. I don't know. That's obviously something for them to figure out during development. But that is massive. This would make it the most impressive game yet expected to come to Nintendo Switch 2. Because we talked in the past how, hey, maybe they could have like Elden Ring be a showcase game for the platform uh, to come out at launch. Well, what if, you know, like, like last time they showed off, you know, Skyrim and stuff and people were just so impressed that that was coming to Switch, which is a little weird because it's a bit of an older game. But you know what? You know what would be impressive? What if when they show off Nintendo Switch 2, they show it off. They have all their games, or, you know, some third party, their NBA 2Ks, maybe Madden, and obviously their first party stuff. But then they also show up Baldur's Gate 3 running on Nintendo Switch 2. Remember when folks were talking about how the demos out of Gamescom had to be fake? They weren't real. This can't be a real representation of what this system can do. What if those demos are real? and definitely were a representation of what Nintendo Switch can, 2 can do. What if Baldur's Gate 3 is on Nintendo Switch, even if, or Nintendo Switch 2 in this case, even if it doesn't have split-screen multiplayer? Let that sink in for a moment. If this game can be there, then pretty much every major AAA third-party game that's exclusive to next generation could also be there. Nintendo will have somehow put out a platform that is a portable that can be docked and, yes, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best, most powerful systems on the market. Now, again, it's not going to perform the same. I get it. But it getting the game at all and having it run well at all would be damn impressive. So, folks, again... Links to all the sources down in the description. Big credit, obviously, over to Family Boards that did some initial research on this. Reddit as well. There's a Reddit thread that sort of brought this up. Uh, and and look, I, I dug through the website. I went through all the sources. Everything's checking out. This guy, it, this is his job, is to get third-party games. And every game that he has a special thanks in came to a Nintendo platform. Every single one of them. So if this one didn't come to Nintendo Switch 2, this would be the first game in his credited history from this Nintendo employee that didn't actually come. So when we talk about confirmations, this is not an announcement. I am not an employee at Nintendo. I cannot confirm that Baldur's Gate 3 is coming to Nintendo Switch. But what I can do is point to this credited Nintendo employee and show you that he has a 100% track record with game credits to releases on Nintendo platforms. Because it's his job. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Rumpeljance from Nintendo Prime, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next video.